Hey guys, Julian Green here and welcome to The Green Room where we talk about movies, television, and everything in between. Today, I am so excited because it's, it's here. It's here. Okay, the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer just dropped and luckily too because I was about to turn in for the night. I was laying in my bed watching Revenant right at the scene where Leo was about to get mauled by that bear. But then my fiance asked me if I've seen the trailer yet. No, I have not kind of hung up yeah i hung up the phone so i can do this review right here so if i get in trouble with my fiance it's because of you guys because i love you not that i don't love her but she understands she she allowed me to do this so let's do it all right what the heck oh Awesome. Awesome indeed, my friend. <laughs> I love that he's in high school. I love that. <laughs> Bro hug not. You're supposed to be a kid. Birdman's a bird. Spider Man, too. Spider Man 2. Oh, 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 that was. Mm. Yes. Yes. Oh, I. Uh. Oh, okay. All right. I should probably do a review on that, right? Like some type of reaction review. Okay. So. What I like about the trailer, everything. Spider-Man is my favorite comic book character of all time. He is my absolute favorite. I love, and the fact that, it, I can't even talk. So after, what can I even say about it? You saw it, you saw it. it I like, I really like the fact that he's gonna be in high school this time. I mean, we knew that because, you know, we all saw him in Captain America Civil War, but the fact that they're actually making this a high school film first, I'm really digging that because Peter Parker is supposed to be 15 years old and he's supposed to, his, his whole character, at least when he started off in the comic books, was that he was a young kid trying to juggle going to school as well as like this alter ego of being Spider-Man. So I like that. Now I know the director said that he wants this to be more of like a John Hughes film, which I mean, if you're doing Spider-Man, why not? And it definitely has that feel, just him staring at girls in the cafeteria with his best friend. He's kind of a loser, but at the same time, he's Spider-Man. And then it also adds that extra dimension when him and Tony Stark get together like with him and Tony Stark get together it's like uh, I like it that last shot of them flying and I'm sorry I'm all over the place I skipped to the end we'll get to that in a minute yes but everything about it like I like that we're taking the approach of the Spider-Man has just been starting out and Tony Stark is taking him under his wing and ushering him into being a new superhero and Spider-Man is just kind of like stepping out on his own slowly but surely and I really like that like it's Spider-Man is the rebel guy like he is the loner street level superhero yeah he takes on big threats every now and then but it's uh guys do i have to really like justify why i like it it's 
It's amazing. <laughs> it's Spider-Man Homecoming. This is Spider-Man done right. He has the jokes, he has the quips, he has the, uh, the suit is amazing, the wings, the webbing wings. And we even get a little nod from my favorite Spider-Man movie so far, Spider-Man 2, where Peter was trying to stop the train and he was holding them both together and he was trying to, I think he was holding two ships together with his body and it is a testament to how strong Spider-Man actually is. So not only are they getting the nerdiness right and the high school and the age right, but the strength of it as well. Oh my god. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton's great too. Like the fact that you got Birdman to play the vulture, like it's really it's gonna be really neat to see Michael Keaton be a villain in this movie. I haven't seen him be a villain before. So this would be a really interesting take and probably a lot more uh, meteor of a role for this actor to chew on. I do have one thing though, one, one thing to say, like the vulture like helmet, it looks a lot like the helmet from the bad guy in Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Yeah, that is, that is a weird picture. <laughs> Hopefully that's like a prototype and that's not the ending thing. I want to see Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton face on top of the vulture get up. I want to see that, that as long as we don't have that dome thingy, I mean he looks like Mysterio with beady eyes. Just saying. Oh my God, this trailer. I give it points, points all the way around. It's great, I love it. Just, I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the night editing, like screw watching The Revenant. I'm probably gonna do that another time. So, have you guys seen the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer? What do you think of it? Was it as rad? Is, are you guys speechless like I am right now? Is it as rad as you thought it was? I hope so. I'm sorry if this is like all over the place, but it's, it's Spider-Man, it's, it's Spider-Man. All right guys, so remember I make videos here every week and make sure if you wanna watch more of my videos, you subscribe, hit that notification button so you get notifications when I make videos, incoherent ones just like this one. And just so you know, I'm a dude in this room talking to a camera. Love you and I'm out.